I didn't have any idea that Ripple was going to become the kind of thing that it has become here. Um, and and it's, it's interesting to me because you're so focused on having a, a functioning business built around blockchain, but you've also got this big honk and valuable currency uh, that you guys have a lot of. There's no question, and I think as some of your earlier uh, participants, you know, said, there's a lot of hype in this space. But I think there's also a, a, lot think? Of, a lot. There's a lot of hype, but there's a lot of reality. And Ripple's been very focused on how do we create real utility and solve a real problem. And in this case, it's a, for cross-border payments, which is a multi-trillion-dollar problem. And if we could reduce the friction there using blockchain technologies, we think we can create a lot of value for consumers, for banks, for the whole ecosystem. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing of going to an ATM, anyone who travels overseas and goes to an ATM machine and sees the massive fees slapped on their, just to access their own money, often from the same bank that they use for in their native country, knows what a problem this is, let alone the huge businesses that Western Union and others have moving currency. But it looks like you're looking far beyond that, I guess, into actually what the banks themselves are paying. You know, even within the banking community, there's a few banks that kind of sit on the top of the entire global payments infrastructure. And all the other banks end up paying them to help settle the global liquidity that's required for commerce, for small businesses, for retail. And across the board, it's kind of amazing that we still live in a world where to send money to London today, the fastest thing for you or I to do would be to drive to, well, for you, for SFO, for me here in New York, to JFK or Newark, and fly the money to London. That's crazy. We live in the age of the internet and we can't move our own money in real time. And of course, as you said, the costs here can be really high. Yeah, um, uh, it, it's a fascinating thing. It seems like the kind of thing I love when you talk about this, saying it should be as easy as sending an email or moving any other piece of digital information, downloading a website or whatever. When you make the sale uh, for this, this business, to whom do you make the sale? Well, we really are in the business of selling solutions, selling technology to banks. Part of that is simply a software sale. And part of that also for customers that want to take advantage of using a digital asset like XRP for liquidity. What that means is instead of pre-funding literally the trillions of dollars that banks have with other banks around the world, they pre-fund that amount that sits there. It's really dormant cash sitting there. With digital assets, you can make that much more real time to enable a payment across a, a border into another currency in real time. Today, Ripple's doing that into uh, Mexico with companies like Qualix, and we certainly see that expanding with uh, other partners and customers over time.